Hello guys, and welcome back to another episode on Terraria Spirit Mod. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. So, last episode that you've done is we have gone and we have battled... Oh, yeah, I remember. Last episode, okay, hold on a minute, my game just froze. Yeah, okay, we're back, the game just froze from it. As I said, last episode we battled Atlas. It was quite a bit of a fight, took a little while. But, you know, of course the game's so laggy. So yeah, as I said, the fight took a little while, but we survived, we got through it. Granted, we died the first time, and actually the, the guy despawned the second time, so it was actually on our third attempt when we killed him, but we still managed to prevail, and as I said, we killed him, we got him, and now the big, fearful, nature's protector, aka Atlas, is dead. As you can see, he's now ticked up from our list, he's now done. I mean, now we're ready for the lunatic cultist in order to take him on and summon the lunar event. But, there's one thing that I want to do. Just one small thing that I want to do. Actually, one item that I need to craft before we take on the cultist. Because, you know, the cultist attacks are very... Well, they, they're everywhere. So I need to be able to dodge them. Plus, the lunar event is filled with enemies. So I need to be able to dodge those enemies. And this Shield of Cthulhu, I've been using this for a real long while, and it's been helping me dash around and avoid all the, you know, incoming attacks. For God's sake, the lag. The Shield of Cthulhu has helped me avoid, you know, literally everything. I've been using it to dash ever since we defeated, you know, the Eye of Cthulhu itself. But now, the shield is, well, it's just not good enough. It's good, but I mean, the dash like, isn't as far. We can still get something better. And the thing that we can get better is the Master Ninja Gear. And that's what we need to get. Today we need to get the Master Ninja Gear in order to take on the Cultist, the Lunar Event, Moon Lord, and Overseer. We need, we just simply need, we need the Master Ninja Gear. Because without it, the dash that we get from the shield just simply will not be enough. We need a bigger dash, and the bigger dash can only be gotten from... But theoretically the Tabai, we only need the Tabai because that allows us to dash. But it can combine, combine the Tabai with a black belt to allow us to dodge attacks, which is also very useful. And we can combine the Tiger Climbing Claws to be able to attach onto walls, which I guess isn't really that useful. But I mean, it still is going to be something helpful. So yeah, the Tabai itself would be good, but if you can get them, if you can get the black belt too, that'd be great because that means we can dodge attacks. So let's say I'm very low on health, and if I get hit, I'm going to die, and let's say I do get hit, that there's a chance the black belt will save my life. And that's quite useful during a boss fight. So frankly, we're going to need the black belt and we're going to need the tabai. And those are two items. But if I combine the tiger climbing clothes, I can make it into one item and therefore I can swap out the shield. So now, because well, I needed that. The Atlas fight already was quite tough. We managed, but you know, it's quite tough. But it would be way easier if we would have the Master Ninja gear. And we can probably take down the last remaining bosses with the shield of Kafu that we have. But it's going to be much easier if we have the... It's going to be much easier if we have the Master Ninja Gear, that's what I was looking for. If we have the Master Ninja Gear, these battles are going to be much easier. Because there's only, you know, three bosses left and obviously the event itself. Four things are left to do. And the shield, as I said, will be enough. But what what's better is the thing that you can get from the dungeon. So you can find a bunch of bone leaves, we need to kill them, we need to get that... We need, ah. I should probably speak slow so I can actually get my words out. We would go into the dungeon, find some bone leaves, kill them, get the tabai, get the black belt, and craft the master ninja again. It's literally the only objective for the day. Head into the dungeon, find the bone leaves, and get the master ninja gear. Let's get in there, and let's get to it. There's nothing else to say, nothing else to do. Part in fact that we're going in, and we're gonna get ourselves what we need. AKA the Master Ninja Gear. So, I don't know why, but my. Oh, for God's sake, can you not? What the hell even is that? A shooting star. I'm not even in space, for God's sake. Anyway, as you can see, my um, dungeon is a very strange looking one. It's kind of like. Well, it's not even buried. It's just a normal dungeon, just a massive, you know, sand. just mountain in front of it. So the entrance is kind of, you know, a bit hidden. But I mean, it makes it look a bit cooler, so yeah. Anyway, let's get through and let's get in. So we should be fine to get ourselves the beetle armor. Got ourselves quite a few good weapons. We should be fine to get in there and do what we need to do. We have the crack bounce stuff. We got this. We actually got three items from Atlas, but two of those items. One of those items actually I didn't need because it only crafted the armor. I didn't need the armor. Second item, the crack bounce stuff is cool, but it's, you know it's just sentry. It doesn't really move anywhere. So 
I don't know, I just kind of have it vibing really in my inventory. And the third item, though, is really great. The third item that we got is the Atlas's Eye. And this is very great because it simply makes me move slower, but it gives me 20 more defense and below half health. It gives me 2 defense normally, plus 4 defense from the fact that it's warding. So, it's quite fun. So, it's going to help us, you know, the future bosses. And it's also going to help us get ourselves through the dungeons. Let's get into that dungeon. And, well, let's find some bone leaves and let's get to killing. I'm going to have a pulse rifle to help us out. And, yeah. Be careful not to hit any of these, you know, cultists, because we don't want to summon, you know, we don't we don't want to summon big man lunatic yet, so, yeah. Blow up you, and, oh, for God's sake, I don't know what, but something hit one of the devotes. Okay, that's a bit inconvenient, isn't it? Really gotta go and, yeah, kill you. Oh, the flipping lag, I swear to God. Okay, now nah, that's a bit bad. I gotta kill the archers, but you can leave the devotes alive because they don't need to die. There's no need for them to die, so. I'm gonna blow you up, and I guess these guys can just stay alive. They'll regenerate back to max health, though, you know, archers will come back to life as well. But for now, yeah, I just gotta leave those guys like that. God damn it. At least we didn't kill all of them, so, you know, the cultists are still not here. Also, I do want to get myself a wisp from here. And last time I was here, I wanted to get a wisp, but unfortunately, we did not get a wisp. But this time, hopefully, we will get a wisp in a bottle. Because that'll be quite a useful light bed. The current light bed I have is one that he got from the old one's army. And it's good, but the wisp would be better. So get ourselves the wisp. Get ourselves the bone leaves killed. And I guess get out of here. But yeah. I don't want the wisp. But the primary... Oh, for God's sake, this lag. I cannot move five centimeters without the game lagging. That's what I was saying. The Master Ninja Gear is the primary objective. If we can get a wisp, that'll be good. But as long as I get the Master Ninja Gear, we'll be leaving. Because that's the primary objective. I don't really need the wisp, but the Master Ninja gear, I need, so let's go and goddamn get it. I apologize for the lag, sometimes my PC is a bit better, sometimes my PC is doing a bit worse, it's just the way it is these days. Anyhow, let's get ourselves down, let's get in there. Oh, that's a lot of enemies that are just here, I guess, yeah. Let's get two of them. Okay, what the hell is that creature? Stop. Okay, I don't even know what's going on at this point. Can you just not? Christ almighty. We we're going to be here for a little while, I'll tell you that much. They already dealt so much damage to me, Jesus Christ. At least my little thing has caught up to me. Oh yeah, we're getting nightmare fuel from this place, aren't we? Yeah. I think the Shadow Shot will be a bit better. The Shadow Shot can get us through, yeah, much easier. We're gonna stick a few of them. You can hopefully, you know, get me through the Waking Nightmares. Yeah, I forgot about this place. Oh my god, it's just lagging on stop. I forgot about this place, I forgot about all the enemies that are here, so... Yeah, it's gonna be fun. Anyway, um... I'm gonna kill you, that's up there, but the flipping. Oh my god, okay, you know, I'm gonna do something about this lag, I'll see you. Yeah, I'll see you in a sec. Uh, I was trying to fix the lag, but instead I just got murdered by a flipping sniper skeleton, and now we're dead, and god damn it, you can already tell it's not gonna be a good day. Let's just, yeah, get ourselves back here. Oh, look, we're back to life, what do you know? God flipping damn it, I don't even know how I died, I was just checking my, you know, computer settings, I wasn't paying attention to the game, and then I just died. I just got shot by the sniper skeleton. Already was low on health, and yeah. I and mean, we need bone leaves. If the bone leaves don't spawn themselves, then I'll spawn them myself. And we're gonna get what we need. The hard way or the easy way. Whichever way is necessary. Uh, why are we going down? Because down is the best way to go. So let's just keep on going. Yep, of course, the game is gonna literally freeze. And even lag. Freeze after every single step I take. This, does, this doesn't usually happen. My game... I'm gonna open my window, because it's quite hot in my room. Maybe if I, you know, open the window, cool the room, well, that could work. There we go. Let's hope that does the trick. If it doesn't do the trick, then I mean, I guess I'll just die, like I'm dying right now already. But you can all just, yeah, die. Let me... For God's sake. Oh, my... Hold on a minute. There we go. Now, back to it. Uh, as I was saying, we gotta go, and we gotta... I mean... Probably the best place to be is gonna- Can you not? You stupid feral cretin. I better things to do. Stop. Um, I think the best place to be is- Oh my god, I'm literally- Screw off. All of you. The best place to be is gonna be most likely over here, as it's the biggest area. There's, there's the biggest chance of actually find enemies. So we gotta get ourselves over there. And we gotta find those bone leaves. We gotta get that gear. Cause god damn it, we're gonna need it. For what we're gonna be getting ourselves into quite soon, so let's go and let's well, let's just find it now. The fastest way to get over there would be just to teleport over there, so that's what I'll do. Here we are, through we go. Simple as that. Now, let's get to it. So, there's the frozen chest thing over there, but I don't really need that, it's gonna be much use. I can summon you because, yeah, 
And here it goes, the entire legion of enemies. Kill them, I think. Got to get through you, perfect. Still no wisps, because, I mean, why would there be? Why would the game give me what I want? The game keeps on freezing, because, just why wouldn't it? Of course it's going to keep on freezing, it's going to keep on pissing me off. Can you not? Like, dude, I have better things to do. Oh, of course, you teleport out of the way the second I shoot at you, and then you freeze my game. I still have got no wisps, still have got no master ninja gear. I generally got nothing, but, oh, obviously, there's a massive, loud as bike flying past my room. Well, not flying physically, but driving past. You get the point. Okay, there's a tactical skeleton down there. It's not a bone lee, but I mean, I guess it's close. I guess it's not close at all. This guy's back, I don't know how he came from, but I mean, yeah. There uh, we have you. Hello. We have all these credits. Those things trying to take me down. Still no bone leaves. It's a bit worrying because I kind of need them. So, if some bone leaves don't spawn themselves, then I will spawn them myself by simply you know, cheating them in. So, yeah. We'll get these bone leaves here one way or another. Go and shoot you. Shoot you. Perfect. Some stuff on the floor. None of it's actually useful. Okay, grab you. Well, not useful to me at this point in time. And I have a use, but not a use that I actually need. Therefore, it's useless. Hello, goodbye. Bonelys. What are the? What's the chance for them to spawning? I guess just in the dungeon. It's not really a specific place, really. Oh, I got a magnet sphere. That's a pretty rare weapon. I'm pretty cool. Hold on, can you just die? Yeah, yeah, the magnet sphere. Simply shoots out a little ball of just death. It's pretty fun. You can only have one out at the same time. Just these zap things. It's quite cool. Not the most useful, doesn't deal much damage, but I mean, it is quite cool, so, yeah. And I mean, there's skeletons and everything, literally everywhere, so we gotta wade through these guys and not die, because dying is quite inconvenient, I'll tell you that much. Okay, you can die, you can die. Oh, we got Mr. Flippin' Explosions and Fire, we gotta get him out of the way. Oh, that's a Bone Lee! That's a Flippin' Bone Lee. Okay, we don't wanna die while we just find a Bone Lee. We gotta quickly wanna speak of him. Can you not? Jesus Christ. Where is the stupid Bone Lee? Is he dead? He might already be dead. I know he's over there now. I mean, it's not a, not a Bone Lee. Whatever, I gotta go and conversate with him. Hello, Bone Lee. I gotta speak of you. You're right here. Can you just die and give me what I want? You're dead and you gave me absolutely nothing. Actually, you gave me the underdog, which is not an item you can drop, but it's not actually what I need. So, I mean, yay, cool, rare item. Not a rare item that I need. So, that's just a great waste of time. I am going to decease. Like... I'm going to stop living in a minute, and not by choice, I'll tell you that much. Um, yeah, so you got yourself the underdog. I mean, the underdog's fun, but it's absolutely useless, because I need the flippin' Master Ninja gear. And I cannot craft that of the flippin' underdog, can I? Oh, God. I mean, if you keep on shooting at you, there we are. Oh, of course, this bullet's coming in from the first type of uh, magical skeleton guy. Because, I mean, this guy that zaps everywhere, the guy that shoots fire, and then the guy who just shoots, yeah, the weird white ball things. Now we're getting attacked by the fire guy and the white ball guy. Can you just start my rainbows all armor and looking cool? All armor. My rain, my, my armor is all rainbow, there we are. Not my rainbows all armor, that makes no sense. You can kill these necro, whatever the hell they're called, and you can just probably die. That's the only thing I'm doing right now. I'm just, well, in great deep agony. Okay, do I have anything useful yet? No, not at all. Okay, am I on fire? Yes. Why? That's a good question. Why am I on fire? Okay, he's chilling in this area. Definitely won't do it. I need to go up. Up where? That's a good question. Just up in general. I'm gonna go and probably, oh, for God's sake, probably need to resummon you. I'm gonna just smack down this guy down there. Just to, I don't know, I guess he's just gonna sit there and vibe. That's all that he really does. Actually, I mean, he's, like, he's doing something. He's spawning these little, you know, blue bullets from the sky. I guess, well, that's quite fun, but that's literally the only thing he's doing. It isn't that useful, but I mean, I, there's still no bone leaves yet, so I might need to go and, uh, obtain some, let's just say. Okay, mm-hmm, yep, enemies, yep. Bone Lee. Yeah, uh huh. Of course, turn on my map, don't you? Yep, lag my game out as well. Just completely freeze it there, yeah. Okay, these are the Bone Lees. Get that over there. Oh, that's the Bone Lee spawning list, anyway. Okay, why are there so many hell armored bones? These guys are annoying because they're set you on fire. And fire, believe it or not, is quite inconvenient. Especially when you're on it. Okay, got ourselves through here. Yep, there are these credits. My guy can go and do some more damage by shooting out this blue AC 130. There, yeah. We go, and one, two, three, and then turn you off, and boom, we have three bone leaves. Where do they come from? Better not to know. Let's go kill them. Also, we have the AC-130 of a hobo guy. Then, you know, the fire guy. And they're dead. Did I get anything? Oh, I got a tabai. Perfect. That's one. 
Yeah, that's the top I am used to gotta sell the sweat helmet. So that's the top I that's the thing that lets us dash. But I still need the um the black belt to be able to avoid attacks. So we need to go and find more. Um bone leaves so we've gotta get ourselves the black belt. Because the top is good. But it's even better with the black belt. So get ourselves the black belt and make that upgrade, shall we? But a good one. Perfect. It's a good start. Now we need the other one. We go and kill you as well. There we are. Avoid your flames. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Or just... Oh, there's another Bodhi. Perfect. Please drop me what I want. I'd appreciate it if you could just, you know, drop me what I want. You're, already, you're still no wisp, which is a bit annoying. And he didn't drop me what I want. God damn it. It's also no wisp. But I mean, hey. At least we got the, um, the Tabai, which is quite good. But we still need the black belt. And I said the wisp in a bottle because it's very useful. Very nice. And yeah, let's you see. And vision is quite cool, believe it or not. Kill you. There we are. You're finally dead. Stupid fiery guy. Tactical skill. That bone leaf. I'm gonna die, though. But it's a bone leaf. Okay, no. Kill the bone leaf first. It didn't drop anything useful at all. My game just froze again. Okay. Heal up. Back up. Perfect. I guess let's keep it going. I probably should get my... Oh, we've got a tactical shotgun. That's quite useful. Oh, that's not so big, guys. And a bone leaf. My god, there's some stuff going on. Probably should make my health golden. You know, go and um, get ourselves the life root. Yeah, probably should make my health golden, because that'll really help. Golden health. Yeah, it's quite nice. A bit of extra health could always help. So, I'm going to go to the dungeon and do that, but later. For now, kill another bone leaf. Got nothing. Great. Tally counter. I don't want the tally counter. What the hell is that? I already have a flippin' terror bar. Drop the hell out of the boat, but I'll just need to place it down. Yeah, okay, I'm going to die. Can you just not these stupid little nightmare things? They're so annoying. Because first of all, they're not even nightmares. Second of all, I mean, they are nightmares, because they just... Oh, I hate them. Get ourselves done, yeah. Kill you, perfect. Now, where's... Where's Bone Lee? Where's Mr. Lee? Hmm? Where's Jackie Chan? Bone Lee? Bruce Lee, uh, there's literally no zombies left. Not zombies, skeletons. Not no zombies in the first place. I mean, I want yeah, skeletons. Where are they? This normal skeletons, but I want the ninja skeletons. The one that can drop me a black belt. I kind of you know need that more than anything else right now. It could be one on the floor, but yeah, my inventory's full. Oh, we got one. I don't know where the hell it got came from, but okay, I got one. That's a uh, great. Now I gotta get the hell out of here because we are going to die if we don't. So, any wisps around here? Wisps in a bottle? I could kind of, you know, use those, but I don't think there are, so I think it's time for a tactical withdrawal. Yep. Well, actually, still more loot I can get down there. Ah, uh, I can still get more. Die. Uh, that's all we need. We're getting out of here. Boom. We're gone. Extraction. That was not fun, but I mean, we caught it. Why are my boat? The boats that are flying around me are golden. It's a bit strange. Anyway, we got it. We got ourselves the Tabai, which I mean, granted, I got it from the skeletons that I spawned in, so... I got it legitimately, I got it from killing a Bone Lee, but the Bone Lee I spawned in myself, so... Uh, but the Black Belt I got fully legitimately, it was dropped by a random Bone Lee, which I killed. So we got the Black Belt, and we got the Tabai, a rush one. But this modifier doesn't matter, because we're gonna, you know, um, do something with it now, anyway. A.K.A., obviously, craft something with it. So now let's we sort our inventory, so we got... Do the crafting, get the Master Ninja gear, swap it out for a Shield of Cthulhu, and finish off for the day. So next episode, we can deal with, yeah, the cultist. Anyhow, let's, yeah, see what we got. So we got ourselves, let's click it, quick stack away what we can, and then I guess do everything else. Okay, now get up the flipping tower. There we are. Tower of gold. Okay, put away our keys, but I mean, that's it. We got ourselves bricks, we can sell those. But I don't care. This is literally broken, so I don't really want that. Magnet Sphere, I mean, it's a cool weapon, but it's just useless. You have two of them, so you can sell you and you can keep the deadly one. I'm never going to use it, but I mean, hey, it's cool to, I guess, have it. Where's, um... Uh, I mean, I was, uh, ah, I just put it here. It's ranged, to be honest. Ranged, you know. And then you can go and sell you, sell you. Dungeon Spirit, it's Millennium of Nature. Renders, you drunk, lowering defense. Okay, I don't want to get drunk. You can sell you. Slugger. Absolutely terrible, sell you. I need to keep you. We can sell the morale blocks. We can sell the other slugger. Sell you. Sell you. Sword helmet on the totem. Increase melee. Yeah, I just sell this terrible. Sell the shotgun. Actually, I mean, it's an annoying one, but we can reforge it. I'm going to keep that. Sword helmet, I mean, it just looks cool. So we're going to keep the sword helmet. Um, yeah, in the area. I'm not going to use the tactical shotgun, so I'm just going to go and put it away. Uh, I should reforge it first, but I can't be bothered, so it's going to go into there. There we are. 
The blank glyph I can put away and everything else I can sell. Perfect. Some of the new glyphs being sold by the glyph master most likely, but that's fine. Give it here. Push you over to here. There we are. And now let's really go and pay a visit to you, my man. And you can go and take absolutely everything. You, then you, then you, then you, 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 and you. And I saw perfect 26 gold that we just easily gained. Thank you for that, my man. Now, so do some crafting. We gotta go and we gotta see what we can make with this, with these free items. I know what actually, to be honest, I know what we can make with them. But still, can I make anything else of ectoplasm in this mod? Like any special items? Maybe. Come on, put away our money. There we are. Now, ectoplasm. Can we make anything different that we can't really make? You know, in uh, normal terraria, any modded ectoplasm-related items? Where is my ectoplasm? Right there. Perfect. Can I make anything extra? Huh? Anything special. Don't care about it, don't care about you, don't care about you. Beacon of the Assassin. That's incredibly long of a description. Plus it requires too many items. So Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's mostly just I mean it's a ranged it's a ranger increase. It simply gives you more ranger damage and stuff, but I don't know. Flame of the Magus, um that's magic. A dungeon soul stuff. It looks quite cool. But you see it's just uh, it's just summoner or something like that. Fosmsa Barrage. No, because... Uh, don't really want it. Mr. Scatalyst seems to be urgent from ancient aliens. This... I actually don't know what this is. Or you can make... Oh, you can make these, uh, yeah, powerful weapons with them. Now, these are the super powerful weapons, yeah, that you can upgrade from these, yeah. Like, the Shard of Thanos can upgrade into the more powerful Shard of Thanos. So, yeah. These are, I guess, the final levels of these weapons. The most powerful versions. Yeah. I don't want them, but I mean, yeah, cool, cool, cool. Uh-huh, we can make that. Psywave, Sonic Orb. Nothing that I really want that much, to be honest. Yeah, nothing really. Yeah, nothing that I want. It's just literally nothing that I want. But one of them can smack you away. I mean, the super powerful ancient weapons would be cool, but I mean, they just take so long to craft. I can't be bothered. So we're not going to bother that. What we are going to bother with, though, is going to be the... Um, Actually, what do I need for the super powerful ancient weapons? What type of stuff? I can eat Plantera's Bloom, Apex Feathers, like... It's just uh, such random stuff. I can get one of them from Atlas, but... A lot of primordial magic, stuff from every single enemy. Like, this requires me to... Oh, that's from you. But, I mean, the Apex Feather requires... That's oh, from you. That's from Plantera. I mean, they're all boss drops. Pretty very rare boss drops. Yeah. And I guess I could make these, but it's just such an inconvenience. Actually, I just realized they all take the same item to make. I just need a weaker version. So, I mean, what would I want? A bow? I don't like bows. Magic weapon? No. Sonar? No. Melee and throw. I don't do throwing. Melee? I mean, I only really want the bow, maybe. The Star Weaver. It's the only thing I really want, because I don't really do swords. What's the sword? Shot of Thanos. Let's try both of them and see if I'd ever want them. Hold on a minute, then. So, it's the Shard of Thanos. Hold on a minute, yep. Mm -hmm. I don't knew that Thanos was a thing in, you know, normal Terraria. So it deals the most damage is the one. Is this the one? No, this is the one. There it is the one. Yeah. And it's also the... Hold on a minute. The... Star Weaver. There we go. Star. Of course, turn on my map. Weaver. There, strongest one. Rainbow one. Perfect. Grab you now, go and see what you can do. Star Weaver. I mean, that's cool, but it doesn't really go through walls. I mean, it's fast, it's nice, I like good stuff, but I mean, it's just, I don't know. And the Shard of Thanos. Okay, what the hell. Oh, it's the little hatch that you throw. You throw a little, you know, hammer. Yeah. That's cool, but I mean, isn't this just so much cooler? It's a massive laser machine gun, you know. Or like, for example, you know, this. I don't know. I don't know if they really want us to go and dump all those, because I don't need them. There we go. Perfect. Now, anyway, let's finally craft what we need to craft. Let's finally do it. We're actually, you know, doing this what we're currently set for. Let's finally make the Master Ninja Gear. Equipable, allows the ability to climb walls and dash, gives a chance to dodge attacks. So, yeah. Small chance to dodge attacks, and you can also climb onto walls and dash. Also, the Travel Emergency, let's quickly see what he sells. But firstly, let's just craft ourselves this Master Ninja Gear. Boom! We got it. Armored Master Ninja Gear. That's plus three defense. I like that. Although this gives me plus... This gives me four. Because you have two from the fact that it's, you know... Two from the fact that it has the guarding. 
uh, modifier plus two because the shield is only going to be three, so it's going to be one defense less. So I'm going to have in total 91. And it's simply, I mean, it's just, yeah, not really great. I had phase flux on it, which simply made us like, move faster, but I don't know if the phase flux even worked. I wonder how the shield of Kahulu can now be regenerated. Also, this damage changes when I move faster, but yeah. Shield of Kahulu, shield of Kahulu can now go into equipment to the new anymore. So yeah, we got it. We got ourselves the Master Ninja gear. It's armored, but I think warding would be the best, because if it's warding, it'll have the same defense as the Master Ninja gear. As the uh, Shield of Cthulhu, I mean. Because the Shield of Cthulhu could have in total had six defense, but only had four, and this only has three, so I can make it to four, which is the max. So I'd have back to 92 defense. But is it worth it to spend so much money just for a singular defense point? Nah, we're gonna go with armored. Plus three defense is good enough. So we can now climb walls. Hold on. Yep, I can sure sell climb walls, that's for sure. Look at that. Oh, I missed that, but look at that. I can just climb walls. It's pretty fun. And we can actually go on. Hold on. We can also go and climb this wall. Yep, you can climb walls. That's fun. You can also apparently um, dash. Yep, the beautiful massive ninja dash. Which is much bigger, much further than the Shield of Cthulhu. We can also apparently dodge attacks, but I can't really demonstrate that, but it also works. Please go and grab this, because I, I want to go and compare how big the dash is, how big this dash is compared to the other dash. Please go and check the um, the shield of Cthulhu's dash. So I'm going to start dashing right from there where my feet are pretty much, yeah, there we are, parallel to that block of glass. Dash from here, see how far we go. We dash, we go to just before the angel statue, okay. But with that, of course, but with that, we dash, get ourselves back to where we need to be, parallel to you, there we are. And with that, we dash, whew, actually a bit, a bit, a bit further, because we dashed right to here. So it went from, I probably shouldn't have done that. It went from there to there, so it's a minor increase, because she look fully leads us there, and this leads us to over here, so it's, you know, that much of a difference. So you go on, I'm gonna break that, yeah. So it's that much of a difference, because with the shield we dash to here, but with the tab eye, with the, I mean, the master of the jiggy we dash to here, so it is, you know, only a small increase, but with this small increase, we have also a chance to dodge, which is great. Plus, we also can climb walls, so overall, the Master Ninja Gear is better, and now we have it, and now we are ready for the Lunatic Cultist. We can do up the Cultist in the next episode, because for today, ladies and gentlemen, I have run time, so yeah, I guess thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I said, I will see you guys in the next episode. We're in the next one, we'll take ourselves back over here to the dungeon and we'll face off against those cretins down there. We'll simply take on the Lunatic Cultist and we can also summon the Lunar Event and we can deal the Lunar Event across the four episodes after that. But generally, we can fight and hopefully defeat the Cultist in the next one. I just realized we don't actually have an arena over here, so you can build an arena for the battle in the next episode. So that's the plan. Build an arena and fight the Cultist. That'll be in the next episode. For now, thank you for watching. And as I said, I'll see you guys in the next one. But for now, for here, for today, goodbye.